Welcome back to the channel and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this logo as you see right over here. Um, as you can see I included the original designer's name so it's Classic Rampage. Auto credit goes to him. Without further ado, let's start. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a background color. All right. And then you just want to hit Alt to Backspace. This is just going to fill up the background with the the foreground color. Now we're going to type our text. So I'm going to choose a font called Harrison Comic that you see right over here. And I'm just going to type out GFX for my first word. All right, so as you can see, each of these letters have different colors. So G, so for G, I'm gonna pick the red color, the F, I'm gonna pick orange, the X, I'm gonna pick a yellow, and you kind of see where I'm going with this, so. All right, so once you have that, we're just gonna you just want to hold control so you can select multiple layers and now you just want to hit control J so we copy it and we just enable these two only so place it right here you're gonna to want to right click and go to rasterize type for both of these and now you're gonna to want to take your right singular marquee tool and just select the the G and you just want to go right click and layer be cut now what that's gonna do is it's gonna put on a separate layer because we want to enlarge this so just control t and just enlarge it just a little bit So now we're gonna do the effects inside of the letters. It's actually really simple. So take your pencil, right? And you just wanna make a new layer. So click this button right above the letter that you wanna put the effect in. So now you just wanna hold Alt and go in between. When you go in between right here, you should see this icon. When you see this icon, just click down. It's gonna make a clipping mask. And you just wanna use your pencil and Click, click and hold, click and drag, I mean. Close that off. So now we're going to take all of these and we are going to select all of them. So just hold control, click on all of the shapes and we're just going to lower the opacity. So just like that, it's very simple. And now we're just going to take everything. So hold shift, just click control G, control J, control E, and you want to hide the previous one. So we just made a group to so just back it up. And now we have this on a separate layer, so we could just add some final effects. Um, let's see what we got. All right, so you want to hit Control C, and you want to right click and go to Warp. Now you want to go to Arc Lower, and as you can see, this is creating the exact same effect. So just like that, right? So uh, as you can see, it's pretty similar. And to just finish it off. He has a kind of a drop shadow effect, so we can do that as well. I hold Alt, drag down uh, to make a duplicate. Right click and go to blending options, hit color overlay, and I'm just gonna select the same color he has. Actually, I gotta choose a darker variation. Oh, so you can see it. So we got that. Let me turn this off. And now, I'm just gonna position this where you want it. You could actually just do, you could actually do a perspective if you want. But, there's so much work for a tutorial 
so I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so make a new layer. Select the exact same color. And the reason for this step is because, as you can see, the, the corners are not completely um, filled. So we have to manually do that with our pencil. And this is another very tedious step. All right, I think we're I think we're pretty much good. So now I just want to take everything here, all these shapes, and also the the original shadow thing. So just take all these and merge it all together. So do that, and uh, you do that by hitting Control G and Control E. So now we have this on a separate layer. This right here. So we're just gonna put this right here, and rasterize type. Go to your pencil or you can use your polygonal lasso tool so you just want to click and hold to make this uh, box selection box appear just use this and just go over the eye hit delete on your keyboard and you can just make a new layer use your pencil and do the same crown so let's go over here here up down there you have it i mean it's pretty simple once again, this is Classy Rampage's uh, logo design. I actually missed a little spot right here. You can see the shadows, but it, I'm pretty sure you already know how to do that. It's um, the same technique as everything I, as uh, everything else I did. All right, uh, yeah, that's it. There you have it. That's how you create this logo that you see over here by Classic Rampage. I'm gonna say that one last time. This video helps you at all. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications for more. At 1K subscribers, we're going to start doing some rendering tutorials. So if you want to see that, make sure you share our channel with as many people as you possibly can. And I will see you all in the next video.